and to live as a man and endure suffering as a man and die a horrible death, shed his blood and gave up the ghost for us. Not for himself, it was for us. So that we could have a perfect example in him and we are to live our lives accordingly. That God can get the glory out of our lives. We are to be that pickles pig feet. We need to strive for perfection along the way. We must show progress. Now I'm not going to ask everybody to be perfect. All at once. But what I'm trying to say is this. If you are the same way this year as you were last year, then there's a problem. It's what we call arrested development. Okay? Now nobody likes the word retarded. But you can be retarded in the spirit if you don't grow. Retardation is stagnation in mentally. And we don't want a spiritual retardation in the church. If I come back here next year and you all still the same level of growth, then pastor will be like, I'm getting ready to kill that people. Because I know he'd be working and trying to grow everyone to the next level. All right? Arrested development. We ain't trying to have that. Amen. What are you doing different this year to be different than you were last year? Amen. I want you all to seriously think about that. And if you have nothing in your life or your heart that you're changing, then something is wrong. Amen. Just like when you're in school, you go from first grade to second grade, to third grade, to fourth grade, to fifth grade, to sixth grade. You don't stay in the same grade till you graduate from 12th grade, how would you? You have to learn more and grow. The same thing with Christ. Yes. The same thing with God. If you're not growing, you are arrested development. Yes. What is in your heart and your mind that's stopping you from growing? If it's sin, we need to confess it, allow God to forgive us, and to move on. Yes. We need to examine why that is. Why am I still the same? Because life is a continuous road of lessons. Failures, trials, triumph, triumphant situations, and victories. What we need to do is allow the example of God to be your guide. Turn to Mark chapter 9. So it's Mark 9 and verse 50. Mark chapter 9 and verse 50. Mark chapter 9. And verse 50. Amen. I think we're all there. Mark 9 and verse 50. And it says, salt is good. But if the salt have lost its saltiness, wherewith will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace one with another. Oh, oh, oh. Lord Jesus, let's talk about the seasoning. Right. What is the seasoning that goes into it? I know Elder uh, Overseer Darby is a chef, right, my brother? Amen. So when you get ready to do your catering jobs, you out there seasoning up and, and putting in a little salt, a little pepper, a little paprika, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of scallion, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic powder. Amen. Need tenderize and depend on what you're cooking. Amen. Seasoning. With our life, trials is our seasoning. When the brothers danced just now, and I was so proud of y'all, by the way, yes. great job. Yes. When the brothers danced, yes. amen. Yes. When they danced, when they said trials, they did like this. Yes. You know what that said to me? I was like, right on. They didn't say trials this. They went trials like this. It's in back of you, not in.